center. Noun. The point in the interior of a circle that is equidistant from all points on the circumference. Verb. To cause. An object. To occupy the center of an area. Seriously. Adverb. Manner. In a serious or literal manner. Awareness. Noun. The state or level of consciousness where sense data can be confirmed by an observer. Frequently. Adverb. At frequent intervals. Marriage. Noun. The state of being married. Calls. Noun. A telephone conversation. Verb. Heading. To use one's voice. Songwriter. Noun. A musician who composes songs including writing the song's lyrics and creating a melody or tune for the song. Scrub. Noun. One who labors hard and lives meanly. A mean fellow. Adjective. Mean. Dirty. Contemptible. Scrubby. Pens. Noun. An enclosure. Enclosed area. Used to contain domesticated animals. Especially sheep or cattle. Verb. To enclose in a pen. Noun. A tool. Originally made from a feather but now usually a small tubular instrument. Containing ink used to write or make marks. Verb. To write. An article. A book. Etc. Noun. A female swan. Noun. Penalty. Noun. In the United Kingdom and Ireland. A copper coin worth 1 240th of a pound sterling or Irish pound before decimalization. Abbreviation. D. Relatively. Adverb. Proportionally. In relation to some larger scale thing. Died. Verb. To stop living. To become dead. To undergo death. Verb. To color with dye. Or as if with dye. Regenerative. Adjective. That serves to regenerate. Might. Noun. Power. Strength. Force or influence held by a person or group. Adjective. Mighty. Powerful. Rope. Noun. Thick strings. Yarn. Monofilaments. Metal wires. Or strands of other cordage that are twisted together to form a stronger line. Verb. To tie. Something. With rope. Level. Noun. A tool for finding whether a surface is level. Or for creating a horizontal or vertical line of reference. Verb. To adjust so as to make as flat or perpendicular to the ground as possible. Adjective. The same height at all places. Parallel to a flat ground. Himself. Pronoun. Reflexive pronoun. Him. The male object of a verb or preposition that also appears as the subject. Precautions. Noun. Previous caution or care. Caution previously employed to prevent misfortune or to secure good. Constituent. Noun. A part, or component of a whole. Adjective. Being a part, or component of a whole. Mind. Noun. The ability for rational thought. Verb. Originally and chiefly in negative or interrogative constructions. To dislike. To object to. To be bothered by. Candy. Noun. Edible. Sweet tasting confectionery containing sugar or sometimes artificial sweeteners, and often flavored with fruit, chocolate, nuts, herbs and spices, or artificial flavors. Verb. To cook in, or coat with, sugar syrup, ghosts. Noun. The spirit, the soul of man. Verb. To haunt, to appear to in the form of an apparition. Mechanical. Noun. Manually created layout of artwork that is camera ready for photographic reproduction. Adjective. Characteristic of someone who does manual labor for a living. Course. Vulgar. Precautions. Noun. Previous caution or care. Caution previously employed to prevent misfortune or to secure good. Parameter. Noun. A value kept constant during an experiment. Equation. Calculation or similar, but varied over other versions of the experiment. Equation. Calculation. Etc. Repair man. Noun. A man whose job is to repair things. Maim. Noun. A serious wound. Verb. To wound seriously. To cause permanent loss of function of a limb or part of the body.
gives verb detransitive to move shift provide something abstract or concrete to someone or something or somewhere magician noun a person who plays with or practices allegedly supernatural magic imports noun something brought in from an exterior source especially for sale or trade verb to bring something in from a foreign country especially for sale or trade verb to be important to be significant to be of consequence considerate verb to think about seriously adjective consciously thoughtful and observant often of other people caring constitution noun the act or process of setting something up or establishing something the composition or structure of such a thing its makeup delivers verb to set free from restraint or danger seven noun the digit figure seven or an occurrence thereof numeral a numerical value equal to seven the number following six and preceding eight this many dots peanut noun a legume resembling a nut the fruit of the plant arachis hypogea verb to pull on somebody's tie as a prank causing the knot to tighten fallen verb heading to be moved downwards noun the dead adjective having dropped by the force of gravity powerful adjective having are capable of exerting power potency or influence adverb to a great extent or degree print noun books and other material created by printing presses considered collectively or as a medium verb to produce one or more copies of a text or image on a surface especially by machine often used without or off print out print off adjective of relating to or writing for printed publications gamer noun a person who plays any kind of game outfit noun a set of clothing with accessories verb to provide with usually for a specific purpose fluff noun anything light soft or fuzzy especially fur hair feathers verb to make something fluffy fireman noun someone especially one who is male who is skilled in the work of fighting fire mirror noun a smooth surface usually made of glass with reflective material painted on the underside that reflects light so as to give an image of what is in front of it verb of an event activity behavior etc to be identical to to be a copy of defense noun the action of defending or protecting from attack danger or injury engines noun a large construction used in warfare such as a battering ram catapult etc verb to equip with an engine said especially of steam vessels organized verb to arrange in working order adjective of a person characterized by efficient organization curry noun one of a family of dishes originating from south asian cuisine flavored by a spiced sauce verb to cook or season with curry powder create verb to bring into existence sometimes in particular adjective created resulting from creation exam noun the act of examining verb to observe or inspect carefully or critically optimized verb originally intransitive to act optimistically or as an optimist parent noun one of the two persons from whom one is immediately biologically descended a mother or father verb to act as parent to raise or rear possible noun a possible one adjective usually not comparable able but not certain to happen neither inevitable nor impossible comfort noun contentment ease verb to relieve the distress or suffering of to provide comfort to hospital noun a large medical facility usually in a building with multiple floors 
where seriously ill or injured patients are given extensive medical and or surgical treatment. Adjective. Hospitable. Adopt. Verb. To take by choice into relationship. A child. Heir. Friend. Citizen. Etc. Chewed. Verb. To crush with the teeth by repeated closing and opening of the jaws. Done to food to soften it and break it down by the action of saliva before it is swallowed. Adjective. That has been chewed. Masticated. Autumn. Noun. Traditionally the third of the four seasons. When deciduous trees lose their leaves. Typically regarded as being from September 24 to December 22 in parts of the Northern Hemisphere. And the months of March. April and May in the Southern Hemisphere. Adjective. Of or relating to autumn. Autumnal. Reporter. Noun. Someone or something that reports. Passing. Verb. To change place. Noun. Death. Dying. The end of something. Adjective. That passes away. Ephemeral. Adverb. Surpassingly. Greatly. Courtyard. Noun. An area. Open to the sky. Partially or wholly surrounded by walls or buildings. Constructors. Noun. A person who, or thing that, constructs. Crystal. Noun. A solid composed of an array of atoms or molecules possessing long-range order and arranged in a pattern which is periodic in three dimensions. Adjective. Very clear. Beginners. Noun. Someone who is just starting at something, or has only recently started. Letting. Verb. To allow to. Not to prevent. Plus infinitive. But usually without to. Verb. To hinder. Prevent. Impede. Hamper. Cumber. To obstruct. Someone or something. Noun. The rental of accommodation. Judicial. Noun. That branch of government which is responsible for maintaining the courts of law and for the administration of justice. Adjective. Of or relating to the administration of justice. Publisher. Noun. One who publishes, especially books. Entire. Noun. The whole of something. The entirety. Adjective. Sometimes post-positive. Whole. Complete. Conviction. Noun. A firmly held belief. Smother. Verb. To suffocate. Stifle. Obstruct. More or less completely. The respiration of something or someone. Dinner. Noun. A midday meal. In a context in which the evening meal is called supper or tea. Verb. To eat a dinner. Pay. Noun. Money given in return for work. Salary or wages. Verb. To give money or other compensation to in exchange for goods or services. Adjective. Operable or accessible on deposit of coins. Choreographer. Noun. A person who choreographs. Rubric. Noun. A heading in a book highlighted in red. Verb. To adorn with red. To redden. Adjective. Colored or marked with red. Placed in rubrics. Currently. Adverb. At this moment, at present, now. Quarrel. Noun. A verbal dispute or heated argument. Verb. To disagree. Lampshade. Noun. A cover over a lamp to either diffuse the light or to block it in certain directions to avoid glare. In the eyes. Verb. To intentionally call attention to the improbable. Incongruent. Our cliched nature of an element or situation featured in a work of fiction within the work itself. Brace. Noun. Armor for the arm. Vambrace. Verb. To prepare for something bad. Such as an impact or blow. Paw. Noun. The soft foot of a mammal or other animal. Generally a quadruped. That has claws or nails. Comparable to a human hand or foot. Verb. Of an animal. To go through something. Such as a garbage can. With paws. Analyst. Noun. Someone who analyzes. Matrices. Noun. The womb. Night watchman. Noun. Someone who guards a premises at night. Sound. Adjective. Healthy. Adverb. Soundly. Interjection. Yes. Used to show agreement or understanding. 
generally without much enthusiasm. Overpass. Noun. A section of a road or path that crosses over an obstacle, especially another road, railway, etc. Verb. To pass above something, as when flying or moving on a higher road. Briefly. Adverb. Manner, in a brief manner, summarily. Humid. Adjective. Containing perceptible moisture. Usually describing air or atmosphere. Damp. Moist. Somewhat wet or watery. Rate. Noun. The worth of something. Value. Verb. To assign or be assigned a particular rank or level. Shampoo. Noun. A traditional Indian and Persian body massage given after pouring warm water over the body and rubbing it with extracts from herbs. Verb. To wash one's own hair with shampoo. Clear. Noun. Full extent. Distance between extreme limits. Especially. The distance between the nearest surfaces of two bodies. Or the space between walls. Verb. To remove obstructions. Impediments or other unwanted items from. Adjective. Transparent in color. Adverb. All the way. Entirely. Booked. Verb. To reserve. Something. For future use. Minded. Verb. Originally and chiefly in negative or interrogative constructions. To dislike. To object to. To be bothered by. Adjective. Having a mind. Inclination. For something or a certain way of thinking about things. Firing. Verb. To set. Something. Often a building. On fire. Noun. The process of applying heat or fire especially to clay etc. to produce pottery. Highway. Noun. A motor vehicle for transporting large numbers of people along roads. Noun. A main. Direct public road. Especially a multi-lane. High-speed thoroughfare connecting major population centers. Couples. Noun. Two partners in a romantic or sexual relationship. Verb. To join. Two things. Together. Or. One thing. To. Another. Nuisance. Noun. A minor annoyance or inconvenience. Concert. Noun. Agreement in a design or plan. Union formed by mutual communication of opinions and views. Accordance in a scheme. Harmony. Simultaneous action. Verb. To plan together. To settle or adjust by conference. Agreement. Our consultation. Drawn. Verb. To move or develop something. Adjective. Appearing tired and unwell. As from stress. Haggard. Costing. Verb. To incur a charge of. To require payment of a. Specified. Price. Noun. The estimation of the cost of a process or product. Loaded. Verb. To put a load on or in. A means of conveyance or a place of storage. Adjective. Burdened by some heavy load. Packed. Founder. Noun. One who founds or establishes. Especially said of a company. Project. Organization. State. Investment. Noun. The act of investing, or state of being invested. Position. Noun. A place or location. Verb. To put into place. Established. Verb. To make stable or firm. To confirm. Adjective. Having been in existence for a long time and therefore recognized and generally accepted. Columns. Noun. A solid upright structure designed usually to support a larger structure above it. Such as a roof or horizontal beam. But sometimes for decoration. Carrot. Noun. A vegetable with a nutritious. Juicy. Sweet root that is often orange in color. Dacus corota, especially the subspecies Sativus in the family Apiaceae. Verb. To treat. An animal pelt. With a solution of mercuric nitrate as part of felt manufacture. Palm. Noun. Any of various evergreen trees from the family Palmae or Ericaceae, which are mainly found in the tropics. Brings. Verb. Detransitive. To transport toward somebody, somewhere. Lamb. Noun, a young sheep. Verb, of a sheep, to give birth. Annoying. 
Verb. To disturb or irritate, especially by continued or repeated acts. To bother with unpleasant deeds. Noun. That which annoys. An annoyance. Adjective. Causing irritation or annoyance. Troublesome. Vexatious. Explorer. Noun. One who explores something. Daddy. Noun. Usually childish. Father. Verb. To father. To sire. Augmented. Verb. To increase. To make larger or supplement. Adjective. Increased in number. Amount or strength. Lazy. Noun. A lazy person. Verb. To laze. Act in a lazy manner. Adjective. Unwilling to do work or make an effort. Disinclined to exertion. Masters. Noun. Someone who has control over something or someone. Verb. To be a master. Noun. In combination. A vessel having a specified number of masts. Noun. A master's degree. Manual. Noun. A handbook. Elementary. Noun. An elementary school. Adjective. Relating to the basic. Essential or fundamental part of something. Rather. Verb. To prefer. To prefer to. Adjective. Prior. Earlier. Former. Adverb. More quickly. Sooner. Earlier. Interjection. An enthusiastic affirmation. Q. Noun. An animal's tail. Verb. To put oneself or itself at the end of a waiting line. Do. Noun. Deserved acknowledgement. Adjective. Owed or owing. Adverb. Used with compass directions. Directly. Exactly. Replacement. Noun. A person or thing that takes the place of another. A substitute. Press. Noun. A device used to apply pressure to an item. Invested. Verb. To spend money, time, or energy on something. Especially for some benefit or purpose. Used within. Graph. Noun. Applied mathematics. A data chart. Graphical representation of data. Intended to illustrate the relationship between a set. Or sets. Of numbers. Quantities. Measurements or indicative numbers. And a reference set. Whose elements are indexed to those of the former set. S. And may or may not be numbers. Verb. To draw a graph. Mary. Noun. Usually capitalized. A male homosexual. Model. Noun. A person who serves as a subject for artwork or fashion. Usually in the medium of photography but also for painting or drawing. Verb. To display for others to see. Especially in regard to wearing clothing while performing the role of a fashion model. Adjective. Worthy of being a model. Exemplary. Pancakes. Noun. A thin batter cake fried in a pan or on a griddle in oil or butter. Restaurants. Noun. An eating establishment in which diners are served food. Usually by waiters at their tables but sometimes. As in a fast food restaurant. At a counter. Gaining. Verb. To acquire possession of. Noun. Gain. Profit. F. Interjection. Used to profess respect for a deceased person. Or for something that has been lost. Noun. Abbreviation. Folio. Paper and book size. 10 inches minus 12.5 by 15 inches minus 20. Noun. That which is feminine. Refugee. Noun. A person seeking refuge in a foreign country out of fear of political persecution or the prospect of such persecution in their home country, i.e., a person seeking political asylum. Verb. To convey. Slaves. Away from the advance of the federal forces. Regiment. Noun. A unit of armed troops under the command of an officer. And consisting of several smaller units. Now specifically. Usually composed of two or more battalions. Verb. To form soldiers into a regiment. Pricing. Verb. To determine the monetary value of. An item. To put a price on. Noun. The act of setting a price. Select. Verb. To choose one or more elements of a set. Especially a set of options. Adjective. Privileged. 
specially selected. Relax. Verb, to calm down. Allergy. Noun, a disorder of the immune system causing adverse reactions to substances. Allergens. Not harmful to most and marked by the body's production of histamines and associated with atopy. Anaphylaxis. An asthma. Idealized. Verb, to regard something as ideal. Adjective, regarded as ideal. Raining. Verb, to have rain fall from the sky. Noun, a fall of rain. Orientation. Noun, the determination of the relative position of something or someone. Founder. Noun. One who founds or establishes. Especially said of a company. Project. Organization. State. Napkin. Noun. A serviette. A. Usually rectangular. Piece of cloth or paper used at the table for wiping the mouth and hands for cleanliness while eating. Product. Noun. A commodity offered for sale. Verb. To produce. Rise. Verb, to move, or appear to move, physically upwards relative to the ground. Footsteps. Noun, the mark or impression left by a foot, a track. Newspaper. Noun, a publication, usually published daily or weekly and usually printed on cheap, low-quality paper, containing news and other articles. Verb, to cover with newspaper. Regret. Noun. Emotional pain on account of something done or experienced in the past. With a wish that it had been different. A looking back with dissatisfaction or with longing. Verb. To feel sorry about. A thing that has or has not happened. After think. To wish that a thing had not happened. That something else had happened instead. Manner. Noun. Mode of action. Way of performing or doing anything. Squash. Noun. A sport played in a walled court with a soft rubber ball and bats like tennis rackets. Verb. To beat or press into pulp or a flat mass. To crush. 60. Numeral. The cardinal number occurring after 59 and before 61. Represented in Roman numerals as LX and in Arabic numerals as 60. Located. Verb. To place. To set in a particular spot or position. Grapes. Noun. A small, round, smooth-skinned edible fruit, usually purple, red, or green, that grows in bunches on vines of genus Vitus. Verb. To pick grapes. Enjoyable. Adjective. Pleasant. Capable of giving pleasure. Black. Noun. The color, color perceived in the absence of light, but also when no light is reflected, but rather absorbed. Verb. To make black. To blacken. Adjective. Of an object. Absorbing all light and reflecting none. Dark and hueless. Condiments. Noun. Something used to enhance the flavor of food. For example, salt or pepper. Celebrate. Verb. To extol or honor in a solemn manner. Interview. Noun. An official face-to-face -face meeting of monarchs or other important figures. Verb. To ask questions of. Somebody. To have an interview. Focused. Verb. Followed by on or upon. To concentrate one's attention. Adjective. Directing all one's efforts towards achieving a particular goal. Going. Verb. To move. Noun. A departure. Adjective. Likely to continue. Viable. Disease. Noun. An abnormal condition of a human. Animal or plant that causes discomfort or dysfunction. Distinct from injury insofar as the latter is usually instantaneously acquired. Verb. To cause unease. To annoy. Irritate. Plaintiff. Noun. A party bringing a suit in civil law against a defendant. Accusers. Runway. Noun. A defined, narrow section of land or an artificial structure used for access. Attachments. Noun. The act or process of, physically or figuratively, attaching. Disturbed. Verb. To confuse a quiet, constant state or a calm, continuous flow. In particular, thoughts, actions or liquids.
adjective showing symptoms of mental illness severe psychosis or neurosis lottery noun a scheme for the distribution of prizes by lot or chance especially a gaming scheme in which one or more tickets bearing particular numbers drop prizes the other tickets are blanks infamous adjective having a bad reputation disreputable notoriously bad unpleasant or evil widely known especially for something bad morale noun the capacity of people to maintain belief in an institution or a goal or even in oneself and others displayed verb to show conspicuously to exhibit to demonstrate to manifest adjective spread out unfurled economy noun effective management of a community or system or especially its resources adjective cheap to run using minimal resources representing good value for money patch noun a piece of cloth or other suitable material sewed or otherwise fixed upon a garment to repair or strengthen it especially upon an old garment to cover a hole verb to mend by sewing on a piece or pieces of cloth leather or the like gossip noun someone who likes to talk about other people's private or personal business verb to talk about someone else's private or personal business especially in a manner that spreads the information minister noun a person who is trained to preach to perform religious ceremonies and to afford pastoral care at a protestant church verb to attend to the needs of to tend to take care of to give aid to give service dream noun imaginary events seen in the mind while sleeping verb to see imaginary events in one's mind while sleeping adjective ideal perfect realize verb to make real to convert from the imaginary or fictitious into reality to bring into real existence fashionable noun a fashionable person a fop adjective characteristic of or influenced by a current popular trend or style elaborate verb to develop in detail or complexity adjective complex detailed or sophisticated lifeguard noun a bodyguard or unit of bodyguards a guard of someone's especially a king's life or person exposure noun the condition of being exposed uncovered or unprotected difference noun the quality of being different verb to distinguish or differentiate neighbor noun a person living on adjacent or nearby land a person situated adjacently or nearby anything of the same type of thing as the subject in an adjacent or nearby position verb to be adjacent to bricklayer noun a craftsman who builds walls and such like out of bricks how noun the means by which something is accomplished adverb to what degree conjunction the manner or way that arbitrary noun anything arbitrary such as an arithmetical value or a fee adjective usually of a decision based on individual discretion or judgment not based on any objective distinction perhaps even made at random pathetic adjective arousing pity sympathy or compassion gentleman noun a man of gentle but not noble birth particularly a man of means originally ownership of property who does not work for a living but has no official status in a peerage an armiferous man ranking below a knight noun possessive case of gentleman belonging to some or all gentlemen noun a lavatory intended for use by men often including urinals in addition to toilets combat noun a battle a fight often one in which weapons are used verb to fight to struggle against encryption noun the process of obscuring information to make it unreadable without special knowledge key files or passwords cheered verb 
to gladden, to make cheerful, often with up. Numbered, verb, to label, items, with numbers, to assign numbers to, items. Anybody, pronoun, anyone out of an indefinite number of persons, anyone, any person. Preach, noun, a religious discourse, verb, to give a sermon. Candidates, noun, a person who is running in an election. Chewing, verb, to crush with the teeth by repeated closing and opening of the jaws. Done to food to soften it and break it down by the action of saliva before it is swallowed. Greet, verb, to welcome in a friendly manner. Either in person or through another means e.g. writing or over the phone, internet. Area. Noun. A measure of the extent of a surface. It is measured in square units. Boiled. Verb. Of liquids. To heat to the point where it begins to turn into a gas. Adjective. Cooked in boiling water. Revolution. Noun. A political upheaval in a government or nation state characterized by great change. Punish. Verb. To cause to suffer for crime or misconduct, to administer disciplinary action. Pinch. Noun. The action of squeezing a small amount of a person's skin and flesh. Making it hurt. Verb. To squeeze a small amount of a person's skin and flesh. Making it hurt. First. Noun. The person or thing in the first position. Adjective. Preceding all others of a series or kind. The ordinal of one. Earliest. Adverb. Before anything else. Firstly. Particular. Noun. A small individual part of something larger. A detail. A point. Adjective. Pertaining only to a part of something. Partial. Guests. Noun. A recipient of hospitality. Specifically someone staying by invitation at the house of another. Verb. To appear as a guest. Especially on a broadcast. Previous. Noun. An existing criminal record. Short for. Previous convictions. Adjective. Prior. Occurring before something else. Either in time or order. Injure. Verb. To wound or cause physical harm to a living creature. Spoken. Verb. To communicate with one's voice. To say words out loud. Adjective. Relating to speech. Names. Noun. Any nounal word or phrase which indicates a particular person. Place. Class. Or thing. Verb. Detransitive. To give a name to. Noun. Any of several types of true yam. Dioscoria. Used in Caribbean Spanish cooking. Recommendation. Noun. An act of recommending. Decide. Verb. To resolve. A contest, problem, dispute, etc. To choose, determine, or settle. Before. Adverb. At an earlier time. Preposition. Earlier than. In time. Conjunction. In advance of the time when. Fill. Verb. To occupy fully, to take up all of. Mood. Noun. A mental or emotional state. Composure. Mechanical. Noun. Manually created layout of artwork that is camera ready for photographic reproduction. Adjective. Characteristic of someone who does manual labor for a living. Coarse. Vulgar. Exude. Verb. To discharge through pores or incisions, as moisture or other liquid matter. To give out. Encourages. Verb. To mentally support. To motivate. Give courage, hope or spirit. Between. Noun. A kind of needle. Shorter than a sharp. With a small rounded eye. Used for making fine stitches on heavy fabrics. Preposition. In the position or interval that separates. Two things. Or intermediate in quantity or degree. See usage notes below. Ease. Noun. Ability. The means to do something. Particularly. Verb. To free. Something. From pain. Worry. Agitation. Etc. Response. Noun. An answer or reply. Or something in the nature of an answer or reply. Fancy. Noun. The imagination. Adjective. Decorative. 
Adverb, in a fancy manner. Fancily. Shake. Noun. The act of shaking or being shaken. Tremulous or back and forth motion. Verb. To cause. Something. To move rapidly in opposite directions alternatingly. Fights. Verb. To contend in physical conflict. Either singly or in war. Battle etc. Noun. An occasion of fighting. N. Noun. North. Recommendation. Noun. An act of recommending. Borrow. Noun. Deviation of the path of a rolling ball from a straight line. Slope. Slant. Verb. To receive. Something. From somebody temporarily. Expecting to return it. Activated. Verb. To encourage development or induce increased activity. To stimulate. Beaches. Noun. The shore of a body of water. Especially when sandy or pebbly. Verb. To run aground on a beach. Noun. A gravel-filled zone on a racetrack. Used as a hazard. Exclusionary region. And. Safety device to slow down and trap vehicles. Everyone. Pronoun. Every person. Disciplined. Verb. To train someone by instruction and practice. Adjective. Possessing mental discipline. Smith. Noun. A craftsperson who works metal into desired forms using a hammer and other tools. Sometimes heating the metal to make it more workable. Especially a blacksmith. Mall. Noun. A pedestrianized street. Especially a shopping precinct. Verb. To beat with a mall. Or mallet. To beat with something heavy. To bruise. Basis. Noun. A physical base or foundation. Misplaced. Verb. To put something somewhere and then forget its location. To mislay. Adjective. Uncomfortable. Especially due to one's surroundings. Palace. Noun. Official residence of a head of state or other dignitary. Especially in a monarchical or imperial governmental system. Verb. To decorate or ornate. Realtor. Noun. A person or business that sells or leases out real estate. Acting as an agent for the property owner. Leaving. Verb. To have a consequence or remnant. Verb. To give leave to. Allow. Permit. Let. Grant. Verb. To produce leaves or foliage. Verb. To raise. To levy. Rooms. Noun. Opportunity or scope. To do something. Verb. To reside. Especially as a boarder or tenant. Rivalry. Noun, an ongoing relationship between, usually two, rivals who compete for superiority. Defaults. Noun, the condition of failing to meet an obligation. Verb, to fail to meet an obligation. Nearest. Adjective, physically close. Preposition, closest to. Actually. Adverb, modal, in act or in fact. Really, in truth, positively. Nice. Noun. Niceness. Adjective. Pleasant. Satisfactory. Adverb. Nicely. Interjection. Used to signify a job well done. Aid. Noun. An assistant. Impression. Noun. The indentation or depression made by the pressure of one object on or into another. Verb. To manipulate a blank key within a lock so as to mark it with impressions of the shape of the lock. Which facilitates creation of a duplicate key. Growing. Verb. To become larger. To increase in magnitude. Noun. Growth. Increase. Adjective. That grows. Signs. Noun. Sometimes also used uncountably, a visible indication. Verb. To make a mark. Comma. Noun. The punctuation mark, used to indicate a set off parts of a sentence or between elements of a list verb to place a comma or commas within text to follow proceed or surround a portion of text with commas compatibility noun the state of being compatible in which two or more things are able to exist or work together in combination without problems or conflict outings noun a pleasure trip or excursion slap noun a blow 
especially one given with the open hand, or with something broad and flat. Verb. To give a slap to. Adverb. Exactly. Precisely. Dimensional. Adjective. Of or pertaining to dimensions. Natural. Noun. A native inhabitant of a place. Country etc. Adjective. That exists and evolved within the confines of an ecosystem. Adverb. Naturally. In a natural manner. Back. Noun. The rear of the body. Especially the part between the neck and the end of the spine and opposite the chest and belly. Verb. To go in the reverse direction. Adjective. Near the rear. Adverb. To or in a previous condition or place. Procrastination. Noun. The act of postponing, delaying or putting off, especially habitually or intentionally. Redefining. Verb. To define again or differently. Incoming. Noun. The act of coming in. Arrival. Adjective. Coming. Or about to come. In. Arriving. Interjection. A warning that something is coming towards you. Especially enemy artillery fire. Pear. Noun. An edible fruit produced by the pear tree. Similar to an apple but elongated towards the stem. Snow. Noun. The frozen. Crystalline state of water that falls as precipitation. Verb. To have snow fall from the sky. Conjunctions. Noun. The act of joining, or condition of being joined. Monk. Noun. A male member of a monastic order who has devoted his life for religious service. Verb. To be a monk. Move. Noun. The act of moving. A movement. Verb. To change place or posture. To go. In any manner. From one place or position to another. On to. Adjective. Of a function. Assuming each of the values in its codomain. Having its range equal to its codomain. Preposition. Upon. On top of. Educate. Verb. To instruct or train. Handshake. Noun. The grasping of hands by two people when greeting. Leave taking. Or making an agreement. Verb. To perform a handshake. To shake hands. Appearing. Verb. To come or be in sight. To be in view. To become visible. Noun. Appearance. Act of coming into view. Blender. Noun. A machine outfitted with sharp blades. For mashing. Crushing or liquefying food ingredients. Realized. Verb. To make real. To convert from the imaginary or fictitious into reality. To bring into real existence. Photos. Noun. A photograph. Verb. To take a photograph of. Genius. Noun. Someone possessing extraordinary intelligence or skill. Especially somebody who has demonstrated this by a creative or original work in science. Music. Art etc. Adjective. Ingenious. Brilliant. Very clever. Or original. Integrations. Noun. The act or process of making whole or entire. Noun. The process of countering racial segregation. Starting. Verb. To begin, commence, initiate. Noun. The act of something that starts. Go. Noun. The act of going. Verb. To move. Adjective. Working correctly and ready to commence operation. Approved and able to be put into action. Reallocated. Verb. To allocate. A resource. To another person or purpose. Fast. Noun. A train that calls at only some stations it passes between its origin and destination. Typically just the principal stations. Adjective. Firmly or securely fixed in place. Stable. Adverb. In a firm or secure manner. Securely. In such a way as not to be moved. Safe. Sound. Interjection. Short for. Stand fast. A warning not to pass between the arrow and the target. Farmer. Noun. A person who works the land and or who keeps livestock, especially on a farm. Acceptance. Noun. The act of accepting. A receiving of something offered. With acquiescence. Approbation. Or satisfaction. Especially. Favorable reception. Approval. 
Noun. A conserved property of the light in an optical system which characterizes how, spread out, the light is in terms of angle and area. It is the product of its cross-sectional area, normal to the direction of propagation, and the solid angle it subtends. Rushed. Verb. To hurry. To perform a task with great haste. Adjective. Very busy. Bring. Verb. Detransitive. To transport toward somebody, somewhere. Gardening. Verb. To grow plants in a garden. To create or maintain a garden. Noun. The process or action of cultivating the soil. Particularly in a garden. The care of a garden. Horticulture. Smoothie. Noun. A smooth talking person. Profitability. Noun. The quality or state of being profitable. Capacity to make a profit. Ballet. Noun. A classical form of dance. Verb. To perform an action reminiscent of ballet dancing. Slots. Noun. A broad. Flat. Wooden bar. A slat. Especially as used to secure a door. Window. Etc. Verb. To bar. Bolt or lock a door or window. Noun. A narrow depression. Perforation. Or aperture. Especially. One for the reception of a piece fitting or sliding in it. Verb. To put something. Such as a coin. Into a slot. Narrow aperture. Skipped. Verb. To move by hopping on alternate feet. Minor. Noun. A person who is below the age of majority. Consent. Criminal responsibility or other adult responsibilities and accountabilities. Verb. To choose or have an area of secondary concentration as a student in a college or university. Adjective. Of little significance or importance. Curly. Noun. A person or animal with curly hair. Adjective. Having curls. By. Noun. The position of a person or team in a tournament or competition who draws no opponent in a particular round so advances to the next round unopposed. Or is awarded points for a win in a league table. Also the phantom opponent of such a person or team. Produced. Verb. To yield, make or manufacture. To generate. Envision. Verb. To conceive or see something within one's mind. To imagine encourages verb to mentally support to motivate give courage hope or spirit attend verb to listen to something or someone to pay attention to regard heed hurricane noun a severe tropical cyclone in the north atlantic ocean caribbean sea gulf of mexico or in the eastern north pacific off the west coast of mexico with winds of 119 km per hour, 74 miles per hour, or greater accompanied by rain, lightning, and thunder that sometimes moves into temperate latitudes. Sketch. Noun. A rapidly executed freehand drawing that is not intended as a finished work. Often consisting of a multitude of overlapping lines. Verb. To make a brief, basic drawing. Adjective. Sketchy. Shady. Questionable. Green. Adjective. Having green as its color. Qualify. Noun. An instance of throwing and catching each prop at least twice. Verb. To describe or characterize something by listing its qualities. Razor. Noun. A keen-edged knife of peculiar shape. Used in shaving the hair from the face or other parts of the body. Verb. To shave with a razor. Procrastination. Noun. The act of postponing, delaying or putting off, especially habitually or intentionally. Regulations. Noun. The act of regulating or the condition of being regulated. Journeyman. Noun. A tradesman who has served an apprenticeship and is employed by a master tradesman. Attic. Noun. The space. Often unfinished and with sloped walls. Directly below the roof in the uppermost part of a house or other building. Generally used for storage or habitation. Faucet. Noun. An exposed plumbing fitting. A tap or spigot. 
a regulator for controlling the flow of a liquid from a reservoir. Kick. Noun. A hit or strike with the leg. Foot or knee. Verb. To strike or hit with the foot or other extremity of the leg. Noun. One who kicks. Noun. A particular type of Texan who is associated with country, western attire. Attitudes and or philosophy. Noun. An introduction. Something that leads into the beginning of something. Airport. Noun. An airfield. An area designated for the takeoff and landing of aircraft. Including one or more runways in. For commercial airports. One or more passenger terminals. Apologizes. Verb. Often followed by. For. To make an apology or excuse. To acknowledge some fault or offense. With expression of regret for it. By way of amends. E. Noun. The name of the Latin script letter E. Sang. Verb. To produce musical or harmonious sounds with one's voice.